Hi everyone, it's Walker Kelly with Monday Scientific Instrument Service, and today we're going to go over how to install your Genoptic camera software. So normally it will come with a little flash drive in your box that will uh, have the software on it, as well as some helpful videos, as well as the digital copy of the manual. But in case you lose your flash drive or anything along those lines, I'm going to go ahead and show you how you can download it from their website. <clears throat> so I'm going to pull up my browser here. And you'll see I've got their website pulled up. And uh, we'll go ahead and put a link to this, uh, this page in the description. So you'll go through and you'll register your software. Um, it's going to ask you just, you know, some basic information as well as the serial number for your camera. Uh, that'll be on the outside of the box. Now I've done again, I've gone ahead and done this registration. So we get this menu here, which is the download software for graphics. All you do is go through and select your version that you want. So we're going to go ahead and pick the latest version, the 64-bit for Windows. And we're going to click uh, click that, and it's going to pull up a little prompt, and it's going to go ahead and start downloading for us. Now this also, this package does include the drivers. Um, it's a bit of a big file, so it does take a second or two to download, but uh, not too long. And if you'll notice here, we also have a copy of the PDF for the user manual. And their website also does contain um, links to a lot of their helpful videos and things along those lines. Okay, looks like we got our, our uh, main package downloaded, so we're going to go ahead and open that. Now, you're going to see the screen go black here real quick. All this is is a Windows security prompt. It's going to ask me if I want to download this to the hard drive on my computer and make changes to the device. And we're going to click yes. And now you should be seeing my screen again. This is the kind of launch splash screen. We're going to select our language. You select what, select what language is going to be prudent to you. I'm going to go with English because I speak English. We're going to hit next. This is their license agreement. Um, you can scroll through that, give it a read if you want to. We're going to go ahead and say I've already read all this and we're going to go ahead and hit agree. We usually leave this as the default folder location. So just program files from optics as it should be. If you want to change that, you can hit browse and change where this goes, but we just let it install in the default location. Hit next. Now it's going to go through and it's going to set up some drivers it needs to install as well as some secondary components that it likes to have involved. Um, again, I tend to leave these just as default. And now it's going to go through and it's going to extract everything it needs and uh, get set up. Should only take a second or two. It's uh, usually pretty quick, although your mileage may vary depending on the speed of your computer. Okay, looks like it's been installed on my computer. I'll go ahead and click finish, and I'm going to minimize the browser window here. And uh, let's see if I can scroll down and pull up the window. More than likely, yeah, it's not going to create a, I didn't select it to make a desktop icon, but if you scroll into your Windows files here, you'll see all of the things you need. So this is the graphics. So we're going to go ahead and click that and launch it and just uh, make sure everything went the way it's supposed to. Now, first launch is always going to take an extra little bit of a second, but here we go. Our uh, file is loaded up. Now, I'm not going to show you how to use the software for this camera today, um, simply because they have uh, dropped it themselves have quite a suite of videos on how to do everything with this that go into a lot more detail than I can. So um, other than that, thank you very much for watching and uh, have a nice day.